Hey, a good evening, everybody. This is ProJo, a.k.a. Joe Borg for Sports Fanatic News and SteelFlyers.com and Flyers Nitty Gritty. Please check out SteelFlyers.com and FlyersNittyGritty.com. This is going to be a preview to the Flyers and Islanders. I figured I would just put it out there and premiere it right before the game because, hell, I don't have much to say after that absolutely shitstorm of a performance yesterday by our Philadelphia Flyers to lose 9-0. Uh, all I have to say is they need to bounce back, finally protect their goaltender. Bertita stressed this, and I fully agreed with him. It's something that I put in my phone notes here for this video, that the Flyers have protected their goaltender so crap of late, and they need to really get better at that. I think bringing up more in, like I got hit hard on Facebook and Twitter, some on the video that has about 30 views now that I just did on more in my first Phantoms player profile. Please stay tuned for more of those and check them out. Um, I think he he's not a problem solver of everything, no kidding. I'm just saying, I think he's going to bash people out of the net well. He's going to be able to hit people on the boards well, bring physicality, and stick up for his damn teammates. His team has freaking sucked when it comes to sticking up for their teammates. Andreoff did it for a couple games, and then has come back down to earth because that's just the player he is. They need to have somebody that can bash people out of the front of the board. Sammy Moore can do that. He can hit you on the board, and he can block shots. He's not the quickest moving defenseman, but when he gets going, his strides definitely get him moving quicker than you would anticipate. Um... To some people, that definitely question that ability of his game. So I think that's, number one, he could definitely help us out. Hag doesn't have a good partner. He would be good on a better team, like with like maybe a Kings-type defense that does great with defensemen. Um, obviously, Rick Tockett's system does great uh, with defensemen, which we're looking to get a Jomerson or maybe a Galagoski out of that system. Obviously, we need to trade for defensemen, but we're not going to do that coming into tonight. Ghost is still sitting. I don't agree with that. I know he doesn't look very sexy on defense. He's only did in a couple games, and he was with Provy. But I think he's looked better this year at times defensively. Not looking great, but just like a little bit below average to average. But the big thing he does is he moves the puck up the ice consistently. Uh, he does it and actually gets, not consistently, but does it pretty well getting it out of his zone into the O zone and the attacking zone. We need more of that. The Flyers really heftily struggle at doing that and sucked at doing it in really both games against the Rangers. After the Rangers started battling back, they ended up getting a lucky bounce on a great perseverance shift by Jake Voracek to win the first game and then just laid the biggest goose egg and laid a crap storm last night to lose 9 nothing. Obviously, even without Anders Lee, I don't give a crap about that. This is still a very dangerous team in the New York Islanders. Um... You really got to watch them. Uh, they're second in the Metropo in the East Division, but tied in points with the Capitals at 42. Uh, the great 42, Jackie Robinson's number. Shout out to the legendary Jackie Robinson. I mean, this team just needs to come out. I mean, I'm not honestly um, projecting a win tonight just because of how much we laid an egg against um, the Rangers, who are the inferior New York team. The Islanders are the much more superior, led by Barry Trotz. Uh, who is a Hall of Fame level coach, obviously. Um, so I think this is going to be a very hard game after what you did yesterday. The Islanders also did not play yesterday. The last time the Islanders played was Tuesday in a 3-1 to one loss to the Capitals after beating on Sunday the Devils in a 3-2 to two shootout score. So they're trying to bounce back from a win, and they are in a better position right now, actually winning of late and playing with a lot of spunk and fire in their belly where the Flyers are doing the exact polar opposite. So this is a game that it wouldn't make sense if the Flyers do find a way to really persevere and win, but that's just how Philly is sometimes. Sometimes we do things that don't make any damn sense whatsoever. It would be great if I'm reacting and not all annoyed and pissed off at the Flyers and reacting in a great, more positive manner um, in this post-game reaction video that I do this evening, but I just don't see it likely, um, and that's just unfortunate. I'm trying to see if I can find, I forgot to go over our score prediction uh, earlier that uh, Mike and Steele and I had. Uh, for Monday's game, Mike had 7-2 flyers, I had 4-3 flyers in OT, and still had 5-4 um, flyers in OT for Monday's game. So Steele actually got that right on the dot. So congratulations to him for the Rangers in Monday's game. At least we have some positive out of this crap storm of a game from last night and not looking great facing an Islanders team when your defense has just been so abysmal of late and theirs is locked in. They're looking good on both ends of the puck. Sorokin's really starting to look good now and Varley has looked good all season. I um, mean, the second game still had uh, three to two flyers. I had two to one flyers and Mike had four to one flyers all wrong 
as we got blown out in that game. I just wanted to make sure I got those in there. Tonight, the key is just going to be performing much better. Hell, I would be happy if we lose this game 4-3 to like three and just have a good close game against this great Islanders team just to get our mojo kind of back in the right direction. I want to see some physicality in this game. I want to see more physicality. Um, that's why I don't know if... Um, keeping Morin down in the minors, assuming he's not one of the guys with COVID, especially when the Phantoms are going through COVID and having, unfortunately, games canceled is a good benefit when you could use some bigger physicalities. Trawinski will be in, which brings physicality. I do like that move to bring him in. He's a guy that will stand up and bring some spunk playing about. You only need to play like five to seven minutes a game, but if it's somebody that just brings a lot of freaking fire to the edge, the Flyers need that. They just need somebody that can bring some fight. That's what Curtis Gabriel is doing with the Sharks, and fans are loving it for the San Jose Sharks, uh, following their fan page, covering them for OT Rokes. They freaking love what he's doing, just standing up and fighting, and we had him in an organization. It's a shame he's gone, but Carson Trawinski can do that. Isaac Ratcliffe's going to do that when his time comes, and Jay Wisdom's going to be a freaking beast of nature and do that as well as score a lot of points once his time comes. And Max Willman's a guy that I think might get time eventually if guys just really keep struggle bunnying up here because we need bottom guys that also have the ability to forecheck with Spunk, especially since nack has been struggling more this year as well as Raffle. So I just look for some improving from this team in this game. I don't really see a win happening. I hope I'm wrong and I predicted wrong. I'm predicting a 4-3 to three loss for the Flyers. I think we're bounced back. And actually, you know what? No, I think 4-3 to three is a little... I'm going to go 5-3 to three loss for the Flyers because I think we'll start showing some spunk. They'll probably get a later goal before we empty the net or as we empty the net, but I think we'll show some spunk. For some reason in the past, this team has always showed up better against superior opponents at times to inferior opponents. Not always this Islanders team who obviously knocked us out of the damn playoffs last year, but... I feel like that mojo might keep going where we, for some reason, show up better against superior opponents. So I think we're going to lose this game. It'll be 5-3, to three, but it'll start getting us moving in the right direction. So then when we play those same Islanders on Saturday, hopefully we'll be able to get a victory maybe by two goals rather than lose how I predict us to happen tonight. I hope I'm wrong, and I hope I'm happy and smiling ear to ear when we come back. But I just don't see that happening, unfortunately. This has been Sports Fanatic News, the grittiest take. A preview to the Flyers and Islanders that's about seven minutes long. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Enjoy the game, everybody. Hopefully we actually enjoy it and have a close battle, even in a losing effort. If we do end up losing, I hope we win. But again, 5-3 to three Islanders is my prediction. Peace out, everybody. For Projo, this is Sports Fanatic News. Again, follow SteelFlyers.com and Flyers Nitty Gritty. And enjoy the Flyers hockey. Let's bring that anytime, anywhere to Long Island.